ringing bells is set to official unveil the Freedom 251 smartphone, delivering on its commitment of launching the cheapest smartphone in India. Bookings for the Freedom 251, which is priced at just ours. 251 approximately $4 making it arguably the cheapest smartphone in the world, begin on Thursday at 6 a.m. Also see, Freedom 251 launched, your 5-point cheat sheet to the most affordable smartphone the Freedom 251, which ringing bells says has been made with immense support from the Indian government, complies with the government's Make in India program. With such a price point, the little no smartphone maker from Noida is aiming to make the smartphone accessible to everyone. Also see, Freedom 251 smartphone, more questions than answers the Freedom 251 understandably sports entry level hardware specifications. It sports a 4-inch IPS display resolution unspecified. It is powered by a quad-core social from an unspecified brand clock at 1.3 GHz, coupled with 1 GB of RAM. The Freedom 251 comes with 8 GB of inbuilt storage, which can be expanded via micro card up to 30 to GB. Also see, Freedom 251 full specifications Other specifications of the Freedom 251 include a 3.2 megapixel rear camera, a 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera, 3G support, WiFi connectivity, and a 1450 mAh battery. The Freedom 251 smartphone ships with a number of apps pre-installed on it, some of which include Women Safety, Swatch H Barad, Fisherman, Farmer, Medical, Google Play, WhatsApp, Facebook, and YouTube. Ringing Bells assures that it has more than 650 service centers across different parts of India, and is giving one-year warranty on the smartphone. If you are wondering how to book the Freedom 251, it will be available for purchase via the website later this week, though it may be June before all shipments are completed. Also see, Freedom 251 in pictures Thousands of users may not find the Freedom 251 smartphone interesting, after all, it doesn't feature impressive specifications, the main USP of most Android smartphones. However, the specifications provided at the staggeringly lower price point at ours. 251 are certainly remarkable. A low-cost smartphone such as the Freedom 251 has the potential to make a big impact in the country. According to estimates from last year, only 14% of the population in the country has access to a smartphone. At this point, Indian government's role behind the phone isn't clear, and whether or not the government is subsidizing the phone. We expect to learn more about it later on Wednesday evening at the official launch event of the smartphone. The event will see a number of top Indian officials including Sri Manohar Parikar, Union Minister of Defence, and Dr. Nureli Manohar Joshi, Member of Parliament, 